continuing on with our canvas tote bag, we are going to sew the cell phone pouch. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Today we're going to sew the cell phone pouch. It's fully lined and I made it big enough that I could fit even my tablet. So let's get started. The first step is to decide if you're going to do anything with that pocket. The one that goes on the center front area. Are you going to add a monogram? I do have a lesson to show you how to do a monogram on canvas fabric. I did it on white, plain white fabric. This fabric has a lot going on. I'm not sure the monogram would look so good. You could also monogram on the faux leather and do an applique, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave it plain for now. I have one piece of the fabric. I also cut a piece of the lining. So the first thing I'm going to do is give this a good pressing and then I'm going to match up wrong sides together. And I have a strip of the faux leather here. And I'm going to fold this in half and stitch this right to the edge. I've pressed this fabric. I have the lining and the fabric with wrong sides together. This is the top edge of the pocket, so I'm going to take the faux leather, fold it in half, and you can't use pins on this, so I have clips. And I'm just going to fold this over the top edge of the fabric and put a clip. Continue to fold the full leather and put clips all the way down. And then I'm going to change the presser foot to the plastic foot so I can stitch right over this with no problem. I could use any of these decorative stitches along the full leather, but I think I'm just going to go with a straight stitch and I'm going to change the stitch length to be a 4.0. Trim off each end. If you want to run a basting stitch around the edges to keep all of this in place, feel free. I'm just going to lay it flat, give it one more pressing, and my pocket's finished. The next step will be attaching this part to the lower end of the bag. So the first thing you want to do is take this fabric, fold it in half, and mark the center bottom of the bag. I'm just going to do a little snip about an eighth of an inch into that faux leather, and then do it on this side. This will help me line this up onto the bag. I'm going to do the same thing on the bag fabric. And mark the bottom, center bottom. Again, about an eighth of an inch snip is perfect. Now remember, this won't fray. So if you want to fold it over to finish the edges, you can, but you don't have to. I'm going to just leave it. I like the raw edge. I'm going to line up this snip and put a clip right here. Sliding to the top edge of the bag, I'm going to take my pocket and let's line this up and find the center position. It looks like this is the center, so I'm going to take my pocket and line that up with that center mark. This will slide down. I want it to go inside of the faux leather, so let's just flip this. And then just to make sure everything is straight, I want this edge to go under the faux leather. That's where it's going to go. I can trim the lining to match. It looks like it's slide over just a little bit here. From the edge of the fabric is four and a half inches, and from the edge on this side is four and a half inches. Slide this up a little bit, two and a half inches from the top edge, two and a half inches, and two and a half inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a straight stitch and stitch all the way around this pocket edge. Change the foot back to a regular foot. 
And I'm going to stitch all the way around this pocket, attaching it to the bag. A few stitches, back stitch, and then stitch. To turn the corner, I'm going to take all this fabric and just slide it right into that corner. Do a little back stitch. So we have our pocket attached. Make sure that this part of the pocket lays nice and flat. If this is too loose, rip out the stitch a little bit and make sure everything is nice and flat. And the cell phone pouch is finished. In the next lesson, we're going to sew the bottom with the faux leather or vinyl, whichever fabric you chose. Again, I'm Angela Wolf. For more sewing tips and tutorials, be sure to visit brothersews.com and angelawolf.com. In the meantime, be sure to share your photos.